So today I'm going to be showing you my 2021 gaming setup. Let's go. So if you guys don't know, I run two YouTube channels right now. I have Premium AFID, which is my main channel, and then I have the tech channel that this is going to be uploaded onto. So I've spent a lot of my time in this room and in that chair and it's something that I'm really proud of and I think it's pretty impressive especially for not having the biggest YouTube channel in the world but still being able to afford some nice stuff and have some fun over here I have another setup but we're gonna start with some of the most boring stuff and we're gonna work our way around until we get to the setups so let's start with the trash this is a trash can i got from missouri that's where i'm from currently i'm in texas but this kind of something reminds me of home and i'll talk about the posters in a little but right here i have a closet and i have this from graduating college i got associates in it and then over there i have my uh just high school graduation and then a little camera charger right there so let's keep going over here. So I have a drink. This is just some sparkling water, don't judge. But over here I have a bottle. Um, it's one of the new Kraken flavors. It's super good, it's really nice whiskey. And then that is something my wife gave me. It was just like a Valentine's Day gift that our anniversary. Um, I have a hatchet there for any unwanted guest and a picture that I actually took back in high school when I was in um, my photography class. It was a really cool project. Basically, there's a ton of toothpicks that you guys can't see because of editing in between that apple. And it just makes it look like it's floating. And I have a little incense burner. I have um, a printer. It prints stuff, what do you know? I have a lot of these things in here. They basically just project stars. This one's kind of cheap, someone gave it to me to review. But um, usually I have pictures of me and my wife here, but I'm keeping those private. Um, this is an art thing that my sister actually made and it's really cool. You guys could see it looks like a galaxy with all the geometric lines. I think it looks awesome, especially with the stars projecting on there. Then um, up here, I just have a little thing from Ikea and it's upside down, but we don't really care about that because it looks cool and it's red and black, kind of like most of the setup. So now we have the American flag and we have a really cool starlight projector and it's still not even that expensive. It's pretty cheap. And um, we have a chair down there. If I'm editing and my wife wants to hang out with me, that's where she sits. And we have blankets in here because it can get a little cool despite being in Texas. So over here, it's just like an RGB mess, but we have the starlight projector. I'm honestly probably just gonna make like an entire review of that thing because it's so cool. If you guys look at the ceiling, like it looks like you're in a galaxy and it's not even placed that well. It still turns out awesome. A little RGB lamp. And then right here, I'm gonna have to move this projector. So right here is a YouTube plaque that I made for hitting 10K since YouTube didn't care enough, I made my own. It's just wood and then like a little like bronze sheet of metal on the backside. Painted the play button black and it looks pretty sweet. That's just kind of a table to set random stuff on, paperwork and all that great stuff. This is where the magic happens. Recently, I just cable managed, mostly for this video. It's not even that great, but at least the cables aren't on the ground. And I do have some RGB under the desk, so it kind of gives you that glow. So if you're in a dark room, you can kind of still see everything around you. We have two 24 inch monitors. They're nothing crazy. I'm gonna have like all the specs down below and links to all my equipment. I have a ring light for when I'm recording because I like having the dark room so you can kind of see all the RGB, but that's so people could see my face. We do still have a blue snowball. I've literally, I've had this since the beginning of my channel and it has taken me such a long ways. Super happy with this mic. So over here's my main camera. It's a Nikon D3400. It's nothing crazy, but it shoots 1080p and that's all I really care for. And then we have some acoustic foam. It was just super cheap. I think it was only 20 bucks for all of this. It does the job. It's not amazing, but it definitely helps with the echo in here. And then I have a random poster of this dude that decided to hit on my wife at Starbucks. Anyways, um, this is my PC. I'll have all the specs down below, but 1070 Ryzen processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and it's it's nothing crazy but it's still a pretty nice pc and it does what i need and it's allowing me to edit and play games and all that fun stuff 
This is a Red Dragon keyboard that they sent me to review and I've still been using it ever since. Red Dragon has done a lot of awesome stuff for me. I've gotten to use a lot of their products and I stand behind them. They're cheap and they look cool and that's all I really care for. And then we just have a bunch of like junk back there, things like wires, lighters for my candle. We have uh, headphones over there if I'm not trying to use speakers and which are just Bose companion speakers. They get the job done and I think that's mostly all you guys need to see over here. Looks pretty sweet. It, oh, I forgot something. This is a special desk because it's a sit and stand. So this is important because I have a hip injury from soccer way back when and sitting for long periods of time just sucks. So I have a sit and stand desk so I can kind of rotate between each position and not have to deal with just having a sore hip all day. It's really helpful. I got the legs from Amazon for a fairly good price and then the tabletop at Ikea. And I think in total I spent like $220, which is honestly about as much as you'd spend for a normal desk. But for now, I'm just gonna let it go back to its normal height and we're gonna move on to the other side. I just have some cardboard blocking the light there because I haven't had a chance to like set up curtains. I don't know if it would even look good, but it's able to make the room dark even like midday like now. I have a to-do list thing, I have video ideas, um, a Stranger Things calendar, and this wall, it's kind of like my backdrop for my YouTube channel, so I wanted to do something kind of unique. So I basically, I went to Five and Below and I bought a ton of posters. Some of them I literally just bought because they look cool. And we, we even got the Minecraft poster, you know. We still play Minecraft and we have the Cold War. Some of my favorite posters will be this one. Trippy Red is awesome. We have the John Wick. No idea what that is, but it was the colors I needed and the Star Wars one. But this desk is for my wife and it works as basically a backdrop for my main YouTube channel now because this PC looks awesome. It's actually my original gaming PC, but I recently put it in a new case. This PC has an i5 4690K and a 1060 in there and just 16 gigs of RAM once again, but it's DDR3 instead of four. So it is a little bit older of a PC, but it still looks pretty sweet and does everything I need. This case was actually super cheap. It's an MSI mag and I think I got it for like 40 bucks and it comes with RGB fans. Super nice tempered glass panel everything you would ever need for a nice gaming case. And it just looks sweet. Over here, we have another Red Dragon keyboard that I was luckily sent to review. Love this thing. It does have slightly different switches. I forgot which one. I'm pretty sure they're brown switches, I guess. Yeah, they're brown switches. They are a bit quieter, which is nice. I had to use this keyboard back when I was in a smaller apartment. I didn't want to keep my wife up, but now I can just use my Cherry MX Blues and no one's gonna say anything because I have my own room. Right here is like my first gaming mouse. It looks completely disgusting, but I have the numbers on the side, which was helpful for back when I was playing Minecraft. This is an RGB mouse pad. I have a few of these now and I really like these things. It gives you a kind of nice base to work with on your desk. I think it kind of just brings your attention back to where your hands are and where you're gonna be at work. And it's just really inviting. I really like it. And it just adds to all the other RGB that we have. So that is like a little RGB orb I got for $10 at Micro Center back when I worked there. And we have RGB lighting basically going across almost the entire room, but I gave up right there. I was like, eh, I don't feel like splicing a wire. So I just have it like so. It still looks good. It brings in all the light and usually I'm not looking at the ceiling to be honest. Right here we have a little dinosaur RGB thing. I just have it set on white so it's not too crazy over here but some company sent me this to review and it's pretty cool. You just plug it in with a USB, same like that guy and you have something that looks really unique. For the speaker down here we just have this little bar and it's USB powered. You can kind of see the driver there. There's another one over here. It was something else I was sent to review and I've really enjoyed it so far because it was free and still sounds amazing. It's honestly one of like the coolest things about having a tech channel is getting to review so much stuff. Even if you don't get paid to review it, it's just fun getting all these things that you'd usually have to pay for and it's really gone a long way in my setup. So fun fact, this is actually like my first desk I ever had. So my parents bought this for me when I was like really little and I'm still using it. And I think it looks really sweet, especially with my other black desk. I think they both look pretty nice. And honestly, like, I love how simple the setup is. Like, 
Comparing it to mine, sometimes I'd prefer just to work here and have the bigger 27 inch monitor, but it just, it doesn't have the specs and the functionality that this computer has. So down here, I just have a little carpet just to keep the floor a little warmer because it is concrete and we have another little like rug down here. I like that because if I'm like barefoot or something and the floor's really cold because it's concrete, it kind of keeps your toes from freezing. I have one over here as well, like a little dog bed for my dog that's currently barking. So yeah, that is the gaming setup. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if you guys want to see any of these products, check out the description down below. I should have links to like everything and probably even exact specs of my PCs. Anyways, guys, keep grinding, keep working hard. Hopefully you guys are able to get a setup that's even cooler than this in the future.